Hello everyone, I'm Mindy. Today my group is going to present on the topic of heat exchanger. Before I begin, I would like to thank my group member Sharon for the schematic diagram, Kamila for the function of heat exchanger, Asmira for the example of applica application, Jinsheng, Shamina, Bachu for the tutorial and Ivy for the slide. Okay, let's move on to the schematic diagram of heat exchanger. Okay. From this diagram, we can see that when the CV boundary, the control volume boundary is chosen at one of the fluid here, as in the fluid A, we can say that the heat transfer is not equal to zero. Or for this diagram, when the CV boundary is chosen at the entire system, we can say that the heat transfer is equal to zero. Okay, we have two types of heat exchanger. Types one is the U-tube heat exchanger, where the fluid flows in and flows out at the same Side. The other one is the straight tube heat exchanger where the fluid is flowing from one side and flows out from the other side. We have few heat exchanger in plant. First is the gas separation plant and another one is refinery plant. Okay, let's move on to the function of heat exchanger. Here are the function of heat exchanger. A uh, heat exchanger is a system used to transfer heat between two or more fluids without the two fluids having to mix together or come into direct contact. Actually, heat exchanger can be used in both cooling and heating processes. Okay, let's move on to the application of heat exchanger in chemical processing industries. Here we have the a cooled heat exchanger. It's used for heat recover purposes to exhaust gases and is often used in petrochemical cooling and steam cooling in chemical industries. The other one is the shell and tube heat exchanger, where it works by passing the fluid through a series of tubes that are enclosed in the, shell met uh, in the metal shell. The type of heat exchanger is used for handling the toxic gases and chemicals. And here we got the gasket plate heat exchanger where it works by passing the fluids through a series of plates that are compacted together side by side. Okay, it's, this heat exchanger is extremely suitable for handling highly acidic chemicals or oils which the vapor form can be used for various purposes. Okay, Let's move on to our tutorial question 10. We've got the question here. A heat exchanger is to heat water where the CP given is 4.18 kJ per kilogram degree Celsius from 25 to 60 degree Celsius at a rate of 0 0.2 kg per second. The heating is to be accomplished by geothermal water CP equal to 4.31 kJ per kilogram degree Celsius available at 1.140 degree Celsius at a mass flow rate of 0 0.3 kg per second. The question asks us to determine the rate of heat transfer in the heat exchanger. Okay. Firstly, we draw the, schemat the schematic diagram. Here we got the water where the water comes in at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and it goes out at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. The geothermal water comes in at 1 140 degrees Celsius and the T4, the final temperature, is to be determined. Okay, the rate of heat transfer in heat exchanger Q is equal to the heat gained by the water and is also equal to the heat loss by the geothermal water. Where the heat gained by the water is equal to MC delta T, where the M is equal to the mass flow rate. C is equal to the specific heat capacity and delta T is the temperature difference. M here we got is 0 0.2, Cp is equal to 4.18 and the difference in temperature is 60 minus 25. This should be minus. And we got the answer here is 29.26 kJ per second. Okay, the second question is to determine the exit, the exit temperature of geothermal water. Here we got, we say that the heat gained by the water is equal to the heat loss by the geothermal water. So heat loss by the geothermal water is equal to 29.26 where is equal to mc delta t where the delta, the delta, the m is equal to 0 0.3 
Cp is equal to 4.31 and delta T is 140 minus T4. Where we got T4 equal to 117.4. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you.